A new all-terrain vehicle is making its debut, and it's called the Taha 3400, a two-part vehicle with amphibious capabilities. The front part features a cabin, while the rear part serves as a simple trailer capable of carrying equipment. The Taha is constructed with a hardtop material that combines the strength of steel for its frame and bottom, which is hot-dipped galvanized, and the lightweight properties of aluminum for its cabin. This combination ensures both durability and reduced weight, essential for its amphibious capabilities. The body design also includes integrated rollover protective structures ROPS, made of steel. The internal volume of the Taha is 9 cubic meters, divided between a general internal volume of 5.9 cubic meters and a rear space of 3.1 cubic meters. This ample room allows for a payload capacity of 3,400 kg, with 400 kg allocated for the front section and 3,000 kg for the rear section. Additionally, the vehicle has a towing capacity of 4,000 kg, making it ideal for carrying heavy equipment or supplies. Powered by a Doosan D24 diesel engine that complies with Stage 5 tier for final emission standards, the Taha offers a maximum engine power of 74.3 horsepower and a maximum torque of 320 newton meters. The vehicle features a manual gearbox with five gears and high/low ranges, giving it the flexibility to adapt to various terrains. Its fuel tank has a volume of 180 liters providing an average fuel autonomy of more than 82 hours and enabling 24-hour non-stop operation with just the main fuel tank. The Taha has the ability to automatically pump water out of the cabin, thanks to the automatic pumps in its front and rear sections. In the event of a tire puncture, the vehicle can shut off the air supply to the damaged tire and continue moving forward confidently. It can reach speeds of up to 6 km per hour on water. The vehicle is equipped with digital inclinometers that trigger a sound and light alarm in case of critical tilt angles, thus enhancing safety during operation. It also features a rear-view camera and backup alarm for better visibility and safety. The Taha is also equipped with differential locks in both the front and rear sections, improving its ability to traverse challenging terrains. Amphibious vehicles like the Taha are increasingly being used in various sectors, including industrial work, hunting, agriculture, and recreation. They are also gaining attention for humanitarian missions, particularly in conflict zones and areas prone to natural disasters. Vehicles like the Taha could be essential for delivering aid supplies to hard-to-reach areas, replacing more costly methods. Logistics can often be a nightmare, and having a vehicle capable of navigating difficult terrains is a significant asset.